It is a lightweight showdown between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Justin Gaethje. Has the frame to compete up, and he's shown that before he was a featherweight, so a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC's career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back of your corners, yeah. not fight. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Takedown lands. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Poirier's right back to the full mount here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Sound strike on the ground. Two minutes remain in the round. So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage off. Gotta grab the wrist. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Both fighters back to their feet now. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go. Set up 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Single collar tie now. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Oh, nice. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, let's get to round two. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Right hook to the head block. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Uppercut lands the oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So we lean on the numbers here. 47 total strikes now for Justin Gage. And landing with 47% accuracy against Dustin Poirier. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, so Dustin Poirier with a nice one-two there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Boom! Big jab. Oh, straight right. That one just throws to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> what a punch. Leg kick. Overhand left. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Clean with the right strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. Jab. He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights in the south. Oh, 
Hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. They continue to exchange. So 103 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Well, hitting on one out of every two, landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Dustin Poole. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Like it did start a little bit. News hook throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he got a bad. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh! Holy smokes! He's put him to sleep. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. and a great performance by this young man. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gage. So the celebration.